<clears throat> As Coach Libber, we're doing 8.1. Uh, this is Delta Math. And so I'm doing the writing. Uh, if you see her here, I'm doing writing equations of a line. You only have three of them here to do in mind. We're not penalizing you if you miss it, but it's just to, to spiral in lessons that we've taught before. So we've already gone over this. And so here's how we do it. We're going to get started. Uh, we're going to do a couple of these and let you figure, I mean, let you finish it. All right. So we have a line. And so remember, we need to find, uh, to have a line, we're going to use the Y equals MX plus B. So the M represents the slope and the B represents the Y intercept. So I got to find the slope. So it's nice that they put the dots here, which is kind of nice. But if you look, I go, if I pick a dot, like where I'm picking here, I go down one to the right one, down one to the right one. So my fraction is one over one. And you see, since I went down, it's a negative and the line is appearing to go down as well. So I know that my equation is gonna be Y equals really a negative one over one, but one over one is just one. And we can put an X there. Now really don't even need to put the one X. We can just put, cause X, because how many X's do you see there? One, and so it's a negative X. Now we want to use B and B is my Y intercept, which is at two. You see where my uh, line is touching the Y axis at two. So I'm gonna say plus two. And we'll do it that way. And you can see I got it right. Now they use two or two, but you can use one over one, three or three or whatever. All right, and then you just plug it in. So we're just finding the slope and the y-intercept and we're just plugging them in. Let's do another one. All right, so my slope, I'm gonna use these dots because they're the big ones. So I'm gonna go here. Uh, I'm gonna go one, two, three. I lost count because I can't see. One, two, three, four, five, then one, two, three. So my slope is five over three. And since it's going, since I went down five and then over three, so I'm gonna count again. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three. It's since I'm going down, it has to be a negative slope. We're gonna put an X in front of it. Now, where does my line cross the Y axis? Looks like at positive eight. So I'm gonna put plus eight. <coughs> Yay, me. All right, one more time. You just don't tape very long. So you have three of them, which the, I'm doing three myself. So we're gonna do the same thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and put Y equals, all right, cause I need to do that. My slope, uh, we'll do here is cause I can see it's better. One, two, one, two, three. So it's two thirds and it's negative because I'm going down. So yeah, I go down and to the right. And you look, the line's going down. If the line was going up, it'd be positive. We're gonna put our X in here. Make sure you click out of this and put the X. Where is it touching the Y intercept? The Y is the Y intercept, is it negative two? So we'll put minus two. And that's how you do this one. You have any questions? Come see me in class.